Do you know that your TV, Wi-Fi, radio, laptop, or even smartphone can be affected if you have a device with a failed AMI? Absolutely, yes, my friend. Today, I'm going to teach you how to know if this device is serviceable or not by understanding how to test it using the multimeter. This small coil right here could be the reason your circuit is full of noise or not working at all. Stay tuned to find out how this underrated component is silently protecting your electronics. Very important component that you will find in every board, every switch mode power supplies. So guys, welcome to the episode number 27 where you gonna master how to test electromagnetic interference filters. All my videos are based on your comments and your questions. That's why I have decided to start testing components based on your comments. You get to choose what I test next. Just leave your suggestion in the comments and the component that gets the most mentions will be the one I test in the next video. I am reading all your comments so don't hesitate to share your ideas and please if you enjoy these videos and want to support my work the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video. It really helps a lot. So guys, let's learn about electronics together at a high level, one component at a time. So before starting this episode, which component should I test next? Please enter comments. And please, my friends, don't forget that our challenge is to reach 1000 component testing. And the best way to support me is by liking and sharing the video. So without wasting time, let's begin with the theory parts. The first question, what is exactly the EMI coil filter basics? So guys, this component is just a coil, but it's a special coil that suppresses electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference on EC and DC power lines. Of course, each filter has a different part number, but always the same working principle. This one, for example, we have 126 HSCI0807. So this is a part number and this EMI is from HSCI series, commonly found in switch mode in SMPS in switch mode power supplies. So it has a dual winding, as you can see, or coil, around a ferret car. So if you focus here, guys, this filter is located at the input. Here is basically the input, here is the fuse, the varistor. We have seen the varistor yesterday. And this is the X2 safety capacitor. Also, we have seen X2 safety capacitor. You can go and check the videos very important videos about these two components so the filter this filter is located near the input stage where we have the fuse the x2 safety capacitor the varistor the bridge rectifier anyway near the ec line okay let's pass to the second question and the most important question in this video how to test EMI filters or we call it sometimes common mode chalk with a multimeter. So guys to check these filters we have a rule is to use the continuity mode and to verify that no coil is open. Please put in mind using the continuity mode we have to check that no coil is open. Of course, we can use the continuity mode or the ohm mode or the resistance mode. I'll show you both. 
So let's begin with the ohm mode and select the low resistance scale, 200 ohm, okay? The low scale. After that, we have to locate and identify the coils pins or terminals. So let's go to the back here. So basically, this is, this is the first coil here and this is the second coil. And if you pay attention here, we have L101 for electromagnetic interference coil. So guys, easy, by selecting the ohm mode exactly 200 in the multimeter, let's check these coils. The first one here, one probe here, another probe here, we get 23 ohm, good. Here also, we should get about the same reading, okay? So let's check 23. This is good. So always check between between pin 1 and pin 2, pin 3 and pin 4. And of course, always you have to get the same reading. Same reading because this is not a transformer. This is EMI and for a EMI we get same reading and same value for both coils. Please remember. And if the reading is open, means you get up line, or you get a too high value, means the coil is broken. Guys, attention please. This is not the only test for the electromagnetic interference coil. No, there is another test, and the most important test. We called it cross test between windings. So, between P1 and pin 3, as you can see, should show no continuity or no low reading proves no short between the coils. Okay, and also between these two terminals, as you can see. So guys, please remember, for this filter, we have to get low resistance in both coils and no short between coils when we use the cross test so what about the second filter let's find out so this is the four terminals for the filter and here guys this is the first coil and this is the second coil and always by selecting the 200 ohm scale let's find out so between p1 and p4 Okay, we have 3.4 ohm. We have to get the same reading in the second coil. As you can see, 3.4 ohm. This is good. Guys, same reading here. But the cross tests, we should not get anything. No short, no low reading. If you get a low reading, means the filter is shorted guys now i'll give you some tips and highlights very important highlights if your power supply is not turning on this coil could be cracked or open many chip knock off p issues skip or fake these coils testing helps identify go good builds so please don't test it in circuit when power on. Always test it with power disconnected and components discharged. Do not skip the visual inspection. Always check for cracks, burns, or dissoldered joints. If it's cracked or burned, replace it without even test it. So guys, remember, this is a common mode chalk. CMC or EMI filter coil. Its rule is to block unwanted high frequency noise, prevent EMI from coming into the power supply from the EC line, leaving the power supply and interfering with other devices. So I have a question. How it blocks EMI. It has two identical coils. Remember, two identical coils. 
wound on a ferret car. When a current flows through both windings in opposite directions, normal current passes through easily. Magnetic field cancel out. Noise signals same direction in both wires are blocked due to the inductive impedance. So why EMI filtering matters? Without this component, you will have buzzing, unstable behavior or failed power up. Device nearby like TV, Wi-Fi, radios can be affected. So guys, as a summary, this component electromagnetic interference filter coil is a crucial in switching power supplies to clean the AC line and ensure your device is stable and interference free. So I hope that you understand. Please guys, don't forget that our challenge is to reach a 1000 component testing make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon for upcoming videos so guys thank you very much and see you with another component